This could be one of the biggest hint about DLC5. Let's get right into the news. Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and today I'm coming in with another DLC5 video for you guys and this one will surely make you think to why this has been going on because there is no reason to why this would happen. We'll be discussing everything about it in just a little bit. So if you guys are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. We do daily videos and live streams and I'm surely gonna bring you all the latest information whenever it happen so definitely consider subscribing if you are new and real quick we're absolutely not going to cover what we have already talked about in these past videos but we have some new stuff today now first of all by the time I'm making this video there's a new update for Black Ops 3 almost the size of 2.1 gigs most likely going to be for new weapons is exactly what comes to my mind but what I've heard is that this update is only on PS4 and Xbox as we speak and I'm not sure if it's on PC or not I haven't checked it, but if you are on PC, let me know in the comments below so we can dig stuff up. And uh, Treyarch have tweeted this out earlier as well, and they claim it's a patch. We had a couple of bug fixes and whatnot, that's what's mentioned in those articles. But why is the update 2 gigs in file size is exactly what I have no idea about. Now, if the update is on PS4, well, we cannot dig that up as far as I'm concerned. If someone can dig, that would be awesome, but knowing that PS4 gets DLC early, I won't be surprised that these patches and update contains more than just bug fixes. Are we getting more Ascension files into Black Ops 3 like we have been getting? I'm not totally sure. Once we have more info about that, we could definitely uh, further investigate and I will bring you uh, update videos whatnot on the channel. The next thing is that Glitching Queen is hinting towards DLC 5. If you guys don't know, the Gaming Revolution made a video claiming that he knows DLC 5 is 100% coming to Black Ops and he claimed he has a legitimate source and Glitching Queen has reached out to him and made a video after that and in that she mentioned she is convinced and she also finds the source legitimate and now she is not talking anything about DLC5. Why? Uh, why isn't she talking anything about DLC5? I am pretty sure she was contacted by Activision and was told something and now she is not allowed to talk and she's not even talking about DLC5 but what is interesting is that she has has been teasing DLC5 pretty hard. Maybe this is the whole new marketing strategy and she's possibly teaming up with Activision. Maybe, who knows? Now, there are two biggest teasers she has put out by the end of her videos. The first one, which I saw was in the end of this video by the title of Truth Reveal about Moon Image Real uh, Bubble Question Marks and Hidden Unreleased DLC Found for Black Ops 3. The hidden unreleased DLC found for Black Ops 3 was the uh, mysterious app that was found in the Steam work, uh, not in the workshop, but in the Steam update files. Uh, I have also talked about in one of my videos as well. I will link a whole playlist of DLC5 in the description below. A lot of crazy information in that. Definitely check it out after this one. Uh, but she shows a pretty mind-boggling stuff by the end of her video. The main gist of that was Origins. And when I first saw this, I was just like, yo, that shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I didn't really pay attention to after that anymore and one of my boy Phantom Hub a massive shout out to him he bring this to my and everyone's attention that in her second video in her second latest upload which has the title of how to blow yourself high in sky and onto buildings with the wind bow rave in the redwoods in that video uh, this is like the the video that I completely missed thanks to Phantom Hub if you're listening great work buddy because of you I found this now at 1 minute and 40 seconds into that video we saw a fall Fox News and then she shows a soccer bopper commercial which no one can say why it's there I have a hard time getting some stuff out of it but those soccer boppers kinda relates to and are similar in my opinion to gobblegums uh, that we have in Black Ops 3 and this possible DLC 5 will hold remaster maps that will have gobblegums and the biggest teaser we got was right after this one it was Mob of the Dead it was a documentary of Mob of the Dead and this possible DLC 5 is going to hold Mob of the Dead, Origins, Ascension and Moon and we have got the remaster loading screens for all the maps already except for Origins and the Ascension loading screen had gobblegums into it. And the Origins remaster loading screen which I highly think we'll see in the next comic and by then I believe we'll hear about it from Treyarch as well. So definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now you gotta keep in mind Glitching Queen is someone that was convinced and she also made a 
video and she also claimed the source was legitimate and now she is not talking about DLC5 but actually teasing Mob of the Dead and Origins which is really mind-boggling and interesting stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. DLC5, yeah or nay? Uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and definitely keep an eye out and I'll see you guys very freaking soon. Peace out.